Okay, loves, welcome back to Exotic Tea Blog. I'm back with another video. Before we get into this one, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so every single time I post, you'll be notified. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and I love you. Returning subscribers, y'all should keep doing shit for me. I also love you guys too. And guys, please, before I get into this video, tap the link I'm going to pin in comment section to subscribe to our second channel, our Exotic Tea Blog reloaded i'll be dropping a video on that channel today so y'all shouldn't miss out go and subscribe now let's quickly get into today's sienna staying up with lado cardi b and mariah the scientist allegedly so um lado has her tour sugar honey ic tickets up for sales but she's not doing that great i mean the tour tickets are cheap but fans are not still buying it and like i have spilled the tea before she's not doing a full arena tour she's doing like four thousand five thousand capacity of people but it looks like her tour tickets are flopping and she's begging the fans to buy i mean that is really sad for um the lot of fans she's selling those tickets around 15 16 17 dollars and they're not still purchasing it which is sad but yeah allegedly had seen wants her to do the remix to her song brokey because i mean brokey you the song people talking about on the album she got honey eyes flop I don't see no other song charting um on Apple Music. I don't see because she charts only on Apple Music thanks to Ebro. But I don't see anybody talking about no no other songs on the album. Just Brokey, 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 and Brokey still flopping on Spotify. I'm gagged. You bumble on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. So allegedly, her team once had to do a remix to Brokey with cardi b and mariah the scientist on the song so what do y'all think about it let me know down below in the comment i'm going to say this i do not really listen to mariah the scientist like that so i don't know how she's going to sound on the brokey song i'm i don't know i don't think she's going to sound that great that's just my opinion i don't listen to her like that but same thing with cardi b i don't really listen to her music like that either so i don't know about mariah but for cardi b i think cardi b can squeeze away into that song because i mean she has been on her feature run since 2024 all throughout 2024 she dropped two flop songs did plenty remix and she been doing collaborations so i mean she can definitely squeeze her way in do i think she's going to kill it now nah, she never delivers no shade y'all can act delusional how you, all you want coming out to say oh cardi b always delivers her bars be hitting she ain't hitting nothing and on top of that wasn't cardi b on the album put it on the floor she either put it on the floor again to the album so she already had cardi b on the album now they want her to have cardi b because she has megan on the album and that song also flopped so i mean lado don't collaborate with almost all the rap girlies she's cool with and she still wants the donald cardi b collaboration so they're hoping this might as well boost the tour and also um boost the song on the billboard hop 100 charts and make it chart and um also people can be motivated to buy the tour tickets because i believe she will soon start her tour so they want her and cardi b to come up and put it the song let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment lado and cardi b is definitely going to flop no shade um cardi b do not have star power either lado um the both female rappers been flopping in 2024 like no difference between cardi b and lado lado did 169k for her song um big mama first day on spotify streaming cardi b did 125 130k streams for the um rubber for the nine collaboration in 2024 so i mean they doing the same numbers why do i think they're gonna make a bop no shade the song is going to flop and this is not a hate on them this is just fact but do y'all think she's going to do the brookie song with cardi b and mariah saying this would y'all be here for it let me know down below in the comment moving on from there now to the real gag Nicki minaj drake and dj academics but before we get into the messy part of the tea um Nicki minaj and drake collaboration needle from pink friday 2 was up over 200 percent on spotify with over 200 thousand streams yesterday so let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment and i'm not going to lie i do not really like the song like that i like just Nicki minaj verse not to hate on drake i never liked the noodle song like that and it got pushed when the album drop because obviously drake wasn't it but i love Nicki verse on the needle song 
but I don't like this song like that overall. I give this song like a 7 to, over 10. But um, it looks like the song is going up. Nikki performed it and also um, people are gagging to it. So it looks like the song is going up on the charts. So y'all listening to Nidu? Are y'all supporting Nidu? Because this is one thing about the Barbs. They finna support a single time. And I'm not saying y'all shouldn't like the song. I do not like the song does not mean um you guys don't like the song. You can fucking stream it. I still stream Nidu. Like, I stream Nidu and I show love to the song. I mean, it's Nicki minaj but i mean i don't like this song like that that's just my opinion but this is good for Nicki minaj and drake moving on from there now dj academics was on his live video as usual nowadays he obsessed with diddy um he was on his live video talking about how Nicki minaj is being shady to drake um even recently as she retweeted or shout out um the weekend he came out saying Nicki was being messy because Nicki knows damn well Drake and Weekend in that coup. That was why she purposely came out and shout out um the Weekend and she's trying to get under the Weekend Drake's skin because Drake did a collaboration with Lado. He said a lot. He even went back to Nicki tweet when she was calling out Rock Nation and the whole Super Bowl halftime situation. He was trying to make it seem like Nicki was taking shots at Drake. And I mean at this point. I'm so tired of DJ Academics and his schemes. And fans believe he be in communication with Drake and Drake be telling him what to say. But I mean, y'all should listen to what DJ Fat Academic had to say on his live. First, I think Nikki knows this. I think Nikki tweets this out. I thought while getting Drake's back low key, Nikki sent a diss at Drake twice recently. I'm going to explain. Yeah. I think Nikki knows. Drake and Abel or The Weeknd ain't really cool right now. But you know what she does? She sends this tweet out complimenting The Weeknd. What does that mirror? Why she was mad at Drake when Drake did a song with Lotto. Oh, you can't say nothing with me. Mm. Hey, you did a song with Lotto. Remember, remember she called him ugly. She said the two ugly boys. She was talking about party next door and Drake for giving Lotto a look. You get what I'm saying? Yo, that's my op. You giving her a look? Yo, you crazy? Yo, what the fuck? I right, bet. Oh, this your op? All right. I'm giving him a look. I'm giving him a look. Right? The second the second reason why the second thing I think she was uh she was sending another shot to Drake. Check this out. And I got to scroll back a little bit. When she start calling Yo, out Jay-Z on the on the speculation highway right now. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. When she call, when she was calling out Jay-Z, right? Because everybody was like, "Oh, Jay's trying to block Block Wayne. Why did Jay pick Kendrick? Oh, Jay's trying to get at um Drake. She defended Kendrick, but she sent uh, and chat. Tell me if I'm reading this wrong. She's she's kind of like left a little bar in there that made it seem like she was getting at Drake because of Drake before never holding her down. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, chat. I'm, I'm gonna give you. Give me a second. All right, watch, 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 watch. Right here. Watch, watch, watch. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, not this, not this one. Give me one second. It's right here. That's Boosie. I think this is it. No. No, where is it? It's right here. Uh, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. I think it got deleted. Oh, it did get deleted. Instagram deleted from my page because I didn't blur out the N-word. <laughs> she said, she uh, said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, Nikki, is that the one, that, the, the statement that she, she leaned in with the hard ER? Yeah. Yeah, but but I, I, I want to I wanna read a tweet. Tweets. Um, Lil Wayne, Super Bowl. I want, give me a second. I'm going to find the whole shit. I'm going to find the whole shit. Where she was getting at Desiree Perez. No, yeah, there's one getting at Desiree Perez too. But uh hold on, let me see. It's coming up, chat. She says something about loyalty. And I thought that was I, I thought that was going at I thought that was going at um I thought that was going at uh, uh Drake more than it was going at anything. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Denying a young black man what he rightfully put into this game for no other reason but your ego, your hatred for Birdman, Drake, Nikki, and and Wayne, Drake, Drake and Nikki, no Birdman, Drake and Nikki got you punishing Wayne, Lil Wayne, the goat, Nola was good, 
Eminem stood firm on, on, on having 50 Cent come out. A white man. Shit's sad. That's the important part, right? Then it says house and word things, but good for them. No loyalty? Well, them niggas will keep sunning you. I felt that was talking to Drake when it came to Jay-Z. Saying that Jay Drake has... Sh uh, am I reaching here? It felt like he, he, she was saying to Drake, she's saying to Drake, like, yo, that's a way, like, basically almost saying, Nick, it's really us versus everybody. Because mm. I, she's almost saying, yo, Drake, you're choosing when you fuck with us. Like, you should never have Lotto on your fucking record. Bro, it's YMCMB. What the fuck are you doing? Like, that's my op. Oh, okay. So, so you have her on your record. Cool. Now, when Jay Z starts sunning you right and now wayne is involved yeah i'm picking up for everybody i'm picking up for you and wayne but you don't do the same because it, right here it says it, it, she says but it's good for them no loyalty well them niggas will keep sunning you and 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 it's almost like she's saying this i'm just showing you that this industry is going to keep sunning you unless you pick a side i could be wrong about that i could be wrong about that I'll be wrong about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I don't know. That, that that might be a slight reach right over there. It might be a reach. A little, you little never fantastic. know. You never know. You never know. But as far as the, the whole... And at the end of the video, notice how it started saying, Oh, I might be reaching. I might be... Bro, you're reaching. Stop there. Like, you're reaching. You're just trying to make a single team messy. You're just trying to make a single team messy. Dragon Nikki was unnecessary. Like, it was so unnecessary. And I looked up of the comment section. I saw plenty of people coming out. They say, Oh, yeah, Nikki being shady. She's she's mad because Drake showed love to Lado and gave our collaboration. They met because Nikki came out here showing love to Kendrick Lamar while she was dragging Rock Nation in also the Super Bowl halftime. He really mad. So I don't really care about what DJ Academics had to say. I just want to tell y'all that him coming out to drag Nicki Minaj is so unnecessary. And I keep telling y'all he doesn't really like Nicki Minaj. Let's stop there. He do not fuck with Nicki Minaj. He do not like Nicki Minaj. He only gets to talk about Nicki Minaj when Nicki is going in on the female rapper. He never gives Nicki Minaj the flowers like he wants to give her the flowers he's just going to do it inclusive in all the female rap girls conversation he has never made a video saying oh nikki did this nikki did that she ate no nah, i haven't seen none video like that he doesn't like Nicki minaj dj academics do not check with Nicki minaj he just saying that because he's trying to start another um drake and nikki conflict like i need he needs to sit the fuck down we don't care about drake um kendrick lamar single-handedly annihilated drake's career y'all should look for a response today but kendrick already won so you guys should let me know how you feel about that down below in the comment moving on from there black female artists with the most charting songs in the billboard digital song sales chart history Nicki minaj got 155 beyonce 71 rihanna 62 so let me know how you feel about this down below in the comments so it looks like the holy trinity is out here topping the charts they out here topping a single charts okay and nikki's out here doing a big one a very big one for female rap girls she's the number one and no female rap girl has ever and would ever do it like this okay this is on the bucket list of things this rap girls cannot afford or achieve in their whole career no shade so this is a good one for nika taya mirage she keeps setting the bars high like a single time she pop out with the stats she's going high She's doing what y'all favorite cannot do. She's doing what them pop girlies cannot do. Some pop girlies because, I mean, this is just black female artists. So congratulations to Nicki Minaj on that one. Now, moving over to Megan the Seahorse, a.k.a. Megan the Stallion, a.k.a. Megan Pagan, Miss Lion Lipo. So, um, Megan the Stallion, her girl summer tour has total revenue of 18.120M based on 14 reported shows off of 30 so let me know if you about this down below in the comment so her grossing numbers is coming slowly do i believe all of this shit is a garnet no this darling rock nation jay-z megan the stallion team um according to her hot girl production a single one of them they stalling to bring out the full numbers because they trying to finesse ish megan didn't gross like down her tour she gave out tickets free people wasn't buying the match 
Okay, no, let's not act slow. They trying to finesse this ish for her. Do I think she's going to do an ATM? No. Do I think she's going to outdo Doja Cats? Maybe, maybe when they are done finessing, she they would want to make her look like, oh, she's the second close to Nicki Minaj because they want her to feel like she Nicki Minaj competitor. She's not. She can never be. The tour was junk. No shade. Um, them outfit girls was giving WWE um Reshila. Nothing good was about Megan Thee Stallion tour. On top of that, she gave out her tour tickets. She cancelled almost all her European tours. So clearly, she cannot tour outside of the States. She only be headed around some places in the, even in the United States. She ain't touring like that because people are not turning up to see Miss Line Lipo. So do I believe um her numbers are going to come in organically? No, they're taking time. They're taking forever to bring out their numbers because they are scared. They do not want her tour numbers to be out like that because she is a flop. Megan is a flop. Watashi wa flop. 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 Watashi wa flop. Okay? <laughs> nah, y'all should stop. I saw y'all coming the last time when I said Watashi wa flop. That's like a little um switch catchphrase the girl gave me. So, I mean, I'm going to say it again. Watashi wa flop. 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 Watashi wa flop. Tour tickets was for free megan tour was trash no shade let me know you feel about it down below in the comment moving on from there it looks like sexy red brung up jt on her tour and this is cute okay and i'm starting to feel like sexy red is one of the nicest female rap girls out she really fuck around with all of them she checks around with a single one of them she doesn't come out here feeling big headed like scratch up she shows love to all the female rappers and this is cute this is cute i'm not going to lie i haven't gotten tickets to go and see sexy red i might see her but i mean right after nikki tour and if she is ever going to do tour and her, i can see sexy red one of those festivals and stuff like that but yeah she's good she's cute and i saw um jt performing it was cute he's all over social media y'all can go and check for yourself but her bringing up jt that was cute so let me know how you feel about that down below in the comment moving on from there katy perry fails to chart any of her songs from her new album 143 on global spotify us charts oh jesus christ oh my god this is crazy this is crazy and i really feel sad for katie berry i really really feel sad for katie berry this is a flop we just have to tell her to her face this is a flop katie and she did 6.6 mil streams on its first day this is even lesser than what i spice and megan stallion did oh my god this is really really bad and i'm going to say this people hated on the album because of dr luke produced woman's world only if she put out woman's world with that much of a controversy she would have done great with this album i liked a few songs from the album i'm not going to lie i mean i'm gonna give her a seven out of ten with the album but i'm really feeling sad for katie right now hopefully she gets better pitchfork ratings hopefully hopefully this album the streaming is really really bad she might as well want to go back to american idol though she might as well want to go back to stuff like that because music ain't hitting like before okay it looks like people are tired of kt and they do not want her to flourish no more in the industry that is why the hate is there but me i feel like she's doing good music but she's not just getting support like before let me know you feel about that down below in the comment now lastly moving over from there now to the album charts kendrick lamar oh my god not kendrick lamar travis cuts is getting dragged by a single person on twitter nobody's in for this payola after four weeks, Kendrick Lamar trash mixtape, old ass mixtape is going to go number one. And he's going to be breaking um, Nicki Minaj record with the highest charting re-up mixtape. But Nicki debuted at number two. And not only that, he's going to be stopping Sabrina Carpenter bag from going number one on her fourth week. Already she been at number one for three weeks. And that is something he could never do even with Big Payola. But now he rose all of a sudden on the fourth week. Y'all can see that when we're talking about Paolo in the industry, y'all be like, oh, y'all the only ones talking about Paolo. But you can see Paolo. This is Paolo at its finest. No shade. This is Paolo at its finest. Um, Travis Cut, you receiving Donkey of the Day. This um, 
mixtape ep album whatever you drop is trash sabrina deserves number one no shade let me know how you feel about these topics down below in the comment don't forget to like comment share, subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll talk to you guys in the next video and i see you thanks for watching